Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about doing a differential fluid change on a 2012 Chrysler 300 SRT8. Uh, I went with the Lucas Oil. Uh, it's a 75 weight 90. I contacted Lucas Oil. They said it already has the friction modifier in it, but to go ahead and put half of the recommended friction modifier in addition to it. So it is a limited slip differential. And while I do this change, I'm going to go ahead and fill up this vial to get a sample and send it off so they'll know definitively if at 30,000 miles the SRT8 uh, needs a fluid change on the differential. There's a lot of debate on that online. Uh, some people say do it. Others say they've got 75,000 miles on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I think that the uh, uh, I'm at 29,000 miles right now. I think what will happen over time is uh, it's going to wear the pinion and the uh, final drive gear and you won't know it until well outside of the powertrain warranty if you don't do the maintenance. So this this is a company I use called Blackstone Labs. You can find them online. Uh, they're pretty good. 25 bucks to do an oil analysis and tell you what kind of minerals are in the oil. Um, it's really neat because they can tell you, you know, if it's bearing material or where the material came from um, based on what metal was in the in the oil. I pulled the fill plug first because uh, you want to make sure you'll be able to fill it back up obviously. So under the vehicle here's the fill plug. There's the back side of it was if that's any indication of what the fluid looks like I'd say it's definitely good that I'm changing it. Um, I'm getting ready to pull the drain plug. I uh, stuck my finger up into the the fill hole there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so there's the fill right there. And I can't touch any fluid, so it's probably a little low. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe from the factory that might have left it below the fill. Um, just so you know. Of course, I got a rag at the ready here. I'm holding this drain plug in as I turn it. I don't want it to fall. I want to allow some of the fluid to drain out at the bottom. Then I'm going to get my sample from the middle of the fluid. The middle of the fluid drain. All right, all the threads are loose. I'm going to pull the plug real quick. I don't know if that's coming on the camera, but it is pitch black. There's quite a bit of sludge on the tip of this too. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think that's unhealthy. Um, I'm sure it's normal to have some metal filings, especially from the initial fluid from the factory. So I'm just going to let that drain for a little bit. Get my sample all packaged up and ready to go. Okay, so what I've got set up here, I've got the drain plug still pulled, I've got my pump and uh, fluid set up. I'm just going to put a couple of pumps in it, just uh, maybe just because I'm too anal, you don't need to do this, just to flush out some of the other fluid. It's immediately coming out clear, so that's it. But I do have a lot of extra fluid, so uh, that should just clean out anything else that's sitting in there. I don't know if you can see that there, that's the drain plug. I just uh, cleaned it up real nice to put it back in. I didn't look up the torque spec on these. Um, I'm not sure how important it is to have the right torque because it's not, there's nothing else attached to it, it's just holding its own weight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it hand tight with it with a uh, 3 8 inch ratchet. I think that's more than enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill it. It's kind of a confined space so filling it's not the easiest thing in the world. Now from what I've read online you just continue to fill it starts to come out of the uh, 
the uh, fill plug there. I've got a little extra step. I need to get some of this in there before it's totally full. Um, this is a limited slip additive from Mopar. Another tool. Uh, so I have this for measuring fuel additive for my old Buick over there because it needs a lead substitute. Um, so I'm just going to use this to measure out. Oh, I'm going to give it an ounce and a half just so that I don't have to get back under there. Cool. Just gonna spray that up in there. And see the vacuum of the stopper left about a quarter ounce in there, so it's a good thing I pulled too Here much. We are out. doing the last fluid. I got this pump on Amazon. They have them for the one gallon jug and the one quart jug. And there we are, we're full. So just let that drain off a little bit. Uh, again, with this, uh, I, I don't believe you need to torque it a whole hell of a lot. Just get it on there real nice and tight with by hand with a 3 h inch driver. And I hope this video was helpful. Um, I know when I did my search, I found several differential uh, lube change videos and they weren't on the 300 it just uh kind of nice to see one on your own car and raise your confidence that you're doing it the right way so if i have any issues with this uh or if i see anything glaring on the uh, oil report i'll put a little update um, i use chrysler 300 c forum online just search for uh, chrysler 300 srt8 forums i believe that's the first one that comes up in google and I'll definitely be posting a link to a YouTube video. And uh, when I get it, I'll post a copy of my oil analysis. Um, again, I hope this was helpful. If you have any tips on what I should do in the future, please leave a comment. Thank you.